thanks for watching this video. Tonight I wanted to show you guys how you can create a dream board perfect for your room and your home. Um, with our house being built, this is definitely something that I have been using a lot lately, just trying to find out what type of furniture and decor go together for certain rooms. That way when we move in, I kind of have an idea of what I already want in each room in the house. Um, so I will be showing you guys how to create a dream board on pickmonkey.com. I know a lot of people have used Canva. I personally did try this and I just didn't find it very user friendly, but feel free to try out both sites, see what works best for you. But I will be doing this tutorial on pickmonkey.com. Um, I do have the pro feature on pickmonkey and it allows me to remove the background of certain items and I will show you that later on in the video. Um, if you decide not to use the pro feature, that's perfectly fine. You'll still get um, the idea that in your design to figure out what items go together you don't necessarily need the pro feature but it is very nice to have um so for the purposes of time in this video i'll just start off with um a dream board that i've already started working on when you guys start a dream board i would suggest creating a new dream board um just a blank canvas. And what I would do is just keep it at the custom 2000 by 2000 pixels and you'll click make it. Later on, if you decide that you wanna share your dream board on social media or through any other um, features, you can edit it later to be a Facebook post or an Instagram post and I will show you how to do that. But for now, just keep it at the create custom of 2000 by 2000. That will make it easier in the long run. Um, but I will start by showing you guys how to create a dream board and I'll just start by editing a dream board that I've already created so far and I'll show you how to add more to the dream board. Um, so before you make your dream board, I would suggest going online, go to Wayfair.com, go to Target.com, Walmart, your favorite stores, find furniture that are aesthetically pleasing to you, um, find furniture for a style that you want. For this room, this is our study room, I have decided I kind of like the uh, industrial look, kind of with modern and accents here and there. Um, so that's what I'm kind of going for is this industrial look and I looked on Wayfair for certain items and something that I love with Wayfair is you can also create like lists where you can like items and put them in certain rooms. So what you'll do is when you find something that you like just go to the photo and you can go ahead and click on it. Let's say you want to add this chair to the dream board to see how it would look with other furniture. Just click on it and save it to your computer. I suggest also making a file on your computer of the room that you want to design. That way you have everything in one place. And then once you've saved photos that you like of furniture options, go ahead and go to your dream board and you can add it to the dream board. I'm just going to make this a little less so you can see the words here. So add an image from the computer and you can go ahead. So here I've added this um, lamp here but I've decided that maybe I don't want this particular lamp. So let me go and find another picture of another lamp that maybe I would prefer instead. Let's try this one. So when you find an item with the pro feature, you can remove the background of that item. This one didn't work out too well, so let's try a different one. I'm gonna go with this lamp or floor lamp. Remove the background on that, perfect. And this, I'm going to just flip it over here. I'm going to move this to the side. 
That way I can like kind of keep it there so I can go back and forth to be like, actually, which one would look best with this furniture? And right now I'm thinking I may like this lantern better instead of this lamp. But I'm just going to keep this lamp for now because it seems to be working out well with these cushions and with this chair that I've picked out. So that's kind of nice to have. Um, feel free to like add pictures from other sites. And if something doesn't work out, you can always switch it out with new items. Um, and that's something that I love about this design. So let's say you've finished your design. I'm going to go to my finished product. I'm going to go to my hub, and here is my finished design. As it loads, you'll see that I've added, this is actually a picture from my living room that I currently have. I just took a picture of it, downloaded it on my computer, clicked the remove background. That way I was able to add it in here to see how it would look in the room of my dreams. Um, and I felt like it turned out pretty good. Let's say you feel satisfied with what you've created and you want to share it online, you just need to go here to the Smart Resize and then let's say you wanted to post it on Instagram, you click on Instagram post and click Resize and done. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and download it to your computer. You can share it on Pinterest or Facebook from there. But that's really nice to have and I really suggest using these dream boards because they really help you figure out what uh, goes together and gives you a feel for what items you would like in your home. This also saves you a lot of time and money so you don't buy something, put it in your room and realize it just does not work and then you have to return it later. This saves you a lot of time. Um, but I hope this kind of gives you some tips on what you can do as you look to change up your house and your rooms. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to give a comment. And it's been a pleasure showing you this video. Thanks.